about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. is on the field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started taken from the three yard line and he's taken down at the 35 yard line so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field Taken down at the 36. That makes it second and eight. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. They'll spread the field with five wide. And a quick throw. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. to about the 44-yard line. That's a game three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Play action. He's at the 20, and it's caught. And down he goes at the 14. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella is pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. From the 14-yard line, first down. Take him down immediately. That makes it second and six. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And they get nice yardage on that one. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for most people. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down this drive on third down. Tackle at the one-yard line. Second down and goal. Ball on the one. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And he gets the touchdown. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 65-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. The score now... 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's taken down at the 28. Holiday is a guy that they basically build this offense around Kirk. I mean, he is the workhorse of this offense. And one thing the offensive coordinator does a really good job of using him in different ways. I mean, you'll see him catch the ball to the backfield. He can run for big carries. So they do a nice job of using and showing him the diversity that he brings with this offensive scheme. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Go. Run, 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 run. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. their own 45-yard line. Third down. As a man, he'll lose big yards. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets hit out of bounds around the 34-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Nice run to the outside. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Stopping his tracks with that test. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The score here in Houston is the Pegasus, seven, the Panthers, nothing. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. down 10 to go ball on the 41 yard line brought down after a nice run up the middle to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. He makes it to the six-yard line. And 
he's in there. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Here's an opening. Tackle made at about the 35. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And the fullback picks up the first. Huge gain there on the ground. Before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat. It's a snap of the ball. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Stucky awaits the snap. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 49. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Taken down around the 49-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Two minutes to go in the half. These guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. up the middle for a nice run. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He's in for the touchdown. Got 
two touchdowns on the ground today. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 69-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. Blair fields it at the 18. He got hit hard. The Panthers know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Slings it. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it third and three. snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Stuckey is waiting for the snap. <laughs> Tackle to the 32-yard line. Big first half lead here. Herbert. Well, they've done a nice job here in the first half and they've been able to build up a big lead. But remember, it's a four-quarter game. Make the adjustments at halftime and continue to try to fight this defense to get more points. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. For the 20. Quickly, and he's got his man. Might go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. Slings it right. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. Three-yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. 
I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Five, 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 five. Going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And they head to the locker room. And, folks, we got a bit of a laugher here. The score here in Houston is the Pegasus 28. The Panthers nothing. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that, and I couldn't be more impressed with how they carried it over to the third quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they've been able to maintain that into this second half. They played lights out in the first half. They just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Tackle around the 26-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. But as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Throws it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Stuckey is the punter. Balls for the fair catch. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? at midfield down the sideline they get on the board again touchdown he's been a force getting to pay dirt three times if i were the head coach of this football team i would give him the ball at least 30 times a game the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Blue 
Here's the tight end. Dropped. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And down he goes at about the 45. First down. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at the 32. Panthers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Got a man. Watch out here. Excellent open field tackle. They're about four yards away here on second down. Complete, and they make the stop at the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. From the 16-yard line, second down. The 10 zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 6-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Mike four, Mike four. Hey, watch the screen, watch the screen. They'll knock him down for a loss. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Rivera has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 34. Well, Kirk, they were hot on offense in the first half, and they just kept rolling along here in quarter number three. Well, they've got a great game plan, and sometimes it just clicks. And right now, we're seeing that from this offense. The last couple series, they've put points on the board. Let's see if that continues here on this drive. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Bring him down at about the 39-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Caught open field. He's brought down in the open field.
from the 24 yard line. It's first down. And he's leveled at the 21. That'll make it second and seven. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker and now he's got room to run he's in another touchdown what a game this kid's having four rushes have ended in touchdowns we wondered if the linebackers were going to be able to slow him down today and I guess that answer is pretty simple no and he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Fires out to his wide out. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That brings him second and five. Looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. The score here in Houston is the Pegasus 42, the Panthers 3. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Here we go. Quick pass and he's right there to knock it away. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Well, that was a big stop here early in the fourth quarter. They needed some of that earlier because this game is still out of hand. That makes it so Stuckey is waiting for the snap. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Kirk, I don't know if you ever can play a perfect football game, but this one's close. Well, look at these numbers. Every single stat favors one team. It's obvious why this is such a blowout. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. Right. 
He rifles it. Brought down at about the 13. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. They're crowding the line. move and he scores it takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line and he converts the extra point a five play 62 yard drive and they get it in for seven and brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running runs they line up to kick this one away he kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Quick throw. Tackle at the 26. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. Holiday gets six yards on the play. Third down. Less than three minutes in the game. Here's the screen to the wideout. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Stucky awaits the snap. Looking for the corner. He makes it out to midfield. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. Well, this is what these guys like to do. They love to establish a running game, control the clock, and then just dominate the time of possession. And all of his stats have been one of the contributing factors in this league. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the grass. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 46. Has some daylight. Nice run to the outside. Six yards there on the counter. since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Under a minute left in the game.
Signals for a fair catch. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, the Pegasus. 49, the Panthers, 3. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.